I will bless the Lord at all times. His prayer shall continually be in my mouth. Welcome to Prayer for the Nation. Always happy to be that voice to the nation every morning between the time of 5.45 to 6 p.m. And of course, it shows back at 11.45 every single day from Monday to Friday. Listen, Prayer for the Nation is for you. It's for you. I always tell you, you can have a cup of coffee in the morning or a cup of tea. And of course, you may forget, but don't forget Prayer for the Nation. Every single day is a time of devotion, a time of meditation where you can spend time with God, hear what God is saying to you, and pray for your children, pray for your loved ones, pray for your spouses, pray for our nation, pray for our community. What an opportunity. I believe Prayer for the Nation really and truly. We are reaching into places like Ikakas, Cedras, Manzanilla, all throughout the East-West Corridor, in the Port of Spain area, San Negrani, Toko. Listen, we are reaching places, and of course, we know even on Facebook too, things are happening. People are being touched because this Prayer for the Nation is a program initiated for you, to help you, to stand with you. And there are numbers on the screen for you to call. You call those numbers, we'll be happy to get back to you, to pray with you, and your prayer request goes on a database where we can continue to consistently keep you in prayer. Amen. Wow. Listen, I have with me Pastor Will McKelly, pastor of the Way of Holiness Church, and I know uh, we are going to continue where we started off. Of course, we're talking about the Spirit of the Lord. Um, first of all, again, let me welcome you to every program you're on. I want to welcome you because it's a Thank pleasure so to have you. You are from Guapo. Yes. That's where you're located. So you're a South person. Yes, yes I They say the best is always from South. I don't know. Please, I don't want to be biased. Listen, no, no, it's, it's joke I'm making. <laughs> <laughs> it's joke I'm making. North is great. East is great. West. Everywhere. Okay. Yeah. So yes. I'm sorry, okay? I can be biased again yeah. because I'm from South. Yeah. But listen, I know Trinidad has great people. Yes. I love my country, you know. Yes. I love Trinidad and Tobacco because we have beautiful, kind, compassionate, loving, caring people. So I don't know where the best is from, but I figure the best is from Trinidad and Tobago. Exactly. So I'll shout exactly. to that. <laughs> Listen, we, you know, we, and in our last subsequent program, we started talking a little bit about the men. And we realized, and of course I'm saying this because it seems as though that, that the responsibility of the role of a man, he has stayed away from it. So you find that women take up that responsibility. So, if, so we see that there are so much people in the church Yes. But the majority are women. women yes, of okay? course, of course. When Jesus was crucified, it was the woman women, who took the initiative. Exactly. So again, I understand women's role, but but you started talking about men, and I want to go back to the scripture. It says in the book of chapter uh, Luke, chapter four, verse eighteen, this Jesus is saying he's quoting himself. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He's quoting a scripture that is yes. from the book of Isaiah, and he says because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, and to set at liberty them that are bruised. Now, I'm using this because I, this encapsulates your ministry, doesn't it? Yes, it does. You are Because you see, that, that's the purpose of the Spirit of the Lord being upon him. It stated quite clearly the purpose for the Spirit of God being upon him yes. and upon us. Yes. It's like a lot of us say, we so anointed for what? <laughs> for what? You know, for what? <laughs> for what? Oh, show it to me now. Prove it to me. You know, it's yes. because we so anointed. I don't want you to touch my anointing. But then it's for what? And um, it's because the Spirit of the Lord is upon us. Because to set to liberty those that are bruised, to heal the brokenhearted, to set the captive free. Yes. People are in bondage and in captivity. You see, prisoners can be seen behind physical bars. But there are some prisoners with invisible bars. I'll talk to us this morning. You yes. understand what yes. I'm saying? That cannot see that they're in prison. Yes. And you came to set those captives free. Mm -hmm. So that's why the Spirit of the Lord is upon us, is to go out there and free those people. Yes. They're everywhere and they need freedom. How do you know? Sometimes they look upright and they look perfect. But when they speak, you mm. recognize they're in captivity. You recognize they really need to be free from their thoughts. Yes. From their actions, from the way they see oh, things, you're preaching out their perceptions. Us. Yes. You know? Listen, there are some prisoners it's... out there right now, and I'm talking about those of you who are not behind bars. Yes. But you have a prison in your own mind or your thought. I believe today, as we speak to our nation, as we speak to our people, that we can pray you through this. There are numbers for you to call even right now for prayer, for counseling. We'll be happy to pray with, and, with you. And of course, pray for you. The men, the men has taken a back seat because we're talking. Of course, this, like I said, this this text encapsulates encapsulates your ministry. Yes. In fact, 
it should be all of our ministry because yes. we all have to be a part of this. Exactly. But 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 the proof of your ministry, you have you have actually had prisoners working on your building. Uh, yes, okay. they are all around me all the time. Ex-prisoners. Let me say ex-prisoners. Ex-prisoners. Ex-prisoners, of course. Yeah. And even guys who are vagrants. And say, By the way, I have a husband who is a minister okay. to us, so don't <laughs> let me leave him out. Pastor yeah. Patrick. Yeah, but one of What's your husband's name? Pastor Patrick Kelly. Pastor Patrick Kelly. God yes. bless you. Good yes. morning. Thank yes. you for lending us your wife to, on television this morning. <laughs> yes, as I'm, as I'm saying to you, what I recognize is that, um, just as you were saying, is a lot of the men, even with praying for the nation, I just want to touch that. Yes. What is the, the, the reason why a lot of ministers not seeing the purpose of praying and the men, because a lot of women still follow through in with the praying for the nation. Yes. But a lot of the men not taking their rightful position to stand up and pray for the nation, mm -hmm. not recognizing that the spirit of the Lord is upon them yes. and the anointing that he has anointed them with to take care of the broken hearted and to set the captive free. I was home yesterday and the Lord said, the men would believe that if they pray for someone to receive Christ, they would receive Christ and they would see a drastic change after a little while. Why can't they realize how powerful their prayers are? Mm. Not because <laughs> of what we're seeing. Yes. Remember when there is a war, you must expect the enemy to retaliate. Mm -hmm. You must expect a war, a, 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 a fighting back. Yes. You must see another murder there and a murder there because Satan recognized you're praying. Yes. And he wants you to get scared. And I believe the church in Trinidad right now, because of the continuous prayer and recognizing that the murder rate seem to be going up, they stop praying and they're praying less prayer instead of coming and coming together. And now we have to come and bombard the gates of hell because we recognize that it's affecting. Don't look at what you see. It's what you doesn't see. It's very effective. That's why you're effective. That's the reason why, as I was saying, the spirit of the Lord is upon us. Go into marriages, let God free it. Go into rape cases, let God heal. Any, anything that uh, kidnapping, anything, the spirit of the Lord is upon you. We could do it. Yes. So the men, we just want the men to find the rightful position because sometimes, listen to this, men would give women position and when they're ready to take it back, we find it too hard to give it My back. My goodness, listen, listen, and we're not knocking at any, any man this morning. All we're asking you to do is to, is, is to stand in your rightful position because God has a plan and a purpose and you're correct. If they don't understand your purpose, if you don't know your purpose, then you wouldn't know, of course, what God has in store for you because That's your purpose, it. if you know your purpose, then you'll become purpose driven. That's it. And we have seen men not taking up their rightful position. So you have dysfunctional families. That's it. Uh, children are just wayward. Yes. We blame the government for every single thing. Yes. Then, of course, we blame the children for everything. And it is important the authority structure has been broken down. That's it. If the walls That's are it. broken down, then the enemy comes in and takes full charge. Control, yeah. Control. And you have had that privilege of helping prisoners because they ex-prisoners, of course. And I'm sure you go to the prisons also too. So yes, you do so both. You help prisoners yes, and yes, ex-prisoners. Yes, of course. And how has that ministry been for you? Wonderful. Fulfilling, I'm sure. Yes, it is. It's like a hobby to me. Oh, my goodness. I, it's something I love. It's, it's, I take pleasure in it. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, is I like to show those that believe they're really bad mm -hmm. that my God bothered them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I get the privilege to see somebody, some of the worst prisoners at the time right now are in prison. And because they have chosen Jesus Christ, they are used as examples to others. And uh, it's, it's amazing. Uh, the church is really doing well. Listen, I want you to pray for prisoners this morning and sure. ex-prisoners. And even when you pray for prisoners and ex-prisoners, those are those who are behind bars and those who have come out of bars. But then in praying that, you have to also pray for those who are prisoners who are not behind bars. Of course. So let's, let's pray and let's specific, those specific prayers this morning for our prisoners in this country. All right. Go ahead. You, Father, we give you praise this morning and I pray 
in the name of Jesus. That, Lord, you're going to touch, Lord God, all these men today. Those are uh, held in captivity, even in the prison system. That, Lord, you'll transform their lives. You will open their eyes so that they would see. They would realize, God, who they are as an individual and how important they are to the body of Christ and to you. I pray for God, those that are in the church that are held in captivities. They are behind walls, God, which ought to understand. And I pray today that, Lord, you would touch them. They'll remove themselves from those things that are held in them in bondage, such as pornography. I cancel the assignment over their lives in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God, for even those that you're going to touch today that have hidden secrets, that one don't want to come to you and give these secrets, God, hand them over to you in the name of Jesus. Abusive husbands who have been abusing their wives and their children, touch them, God. Let them realize how much we love them. Let them realize, God, that they don't have to pretend anymore. We love them just for who they are in the name of Jesus. We recognize that we're not wrestling against flesh and blood, but it's against principalities and powers and the rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. Deliver them today, God, and set them free. I thank you, Lord, for the man that is sitting down today and say, I'm none of the above, but he is behind a prison, a prison, God, that he cannot understand, a prison of lack of understanding, full of illusion and fantasies and not reality. Lord God, break that prison door today in the name of Jesus Christ. Break every chain, dismantle the plans of Satan over his life in the name of Jesus Christ. And God, we give you praise as I speak salvation to all these men today in the name of Jesus. Lord, you know you call women, but God, you know men have a rightful place. And God, we pray, I pray today that you would touch them, that they'll recognize that women are not trying to take their position, but God, we need them. We are begging daily. We are crying out daily so that they can take their responsibility so that it will lift the weight off of us as women, God. And we will be able to come to you, God, yes. and a lighter yes. frame and an easier way, God, in an easier mood, God, that we could touch you with other things other than taking the burden yes. of the men today. We give you all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise as you touch them, God, and let them not feel insecure. Because, God, you made every man perfect. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Listen, I believe that somebody's, lives was, some, some, somebody's life was, was touched this morning. Some person's life was touched this morning by that prayer. Men, we appreciate you. And to hear Pastor Will McCallie praying from my heart this morning for the men in our nation, we know that you can do better. We know that you have lost your self-esteem. We know that you have given up, but not this morning. This morning, we have pulled you out of the Marie Claire. Pastor Kelly, it's thank you again. It's a pleasure. For being here. It's a pleasure for us. And I'm sure you would have enjoyed her ministry. Listen, I'm your host, Dr. Victor Jogi. Thanking you again for looking at Prayer for the Nation. Remember, Prayer for the Nation is an initiation from ACT and The Voice. We want to be a voice to the nation. Remember, we are standing with you in prayer. Call the numbers right now, and we will be happy to pray with you and to pray for you. Thank you again for tuning in. We love you. We trust God will make a way for you. We know that. Remember, keep on smiling. God is on your side. Have a great day.